Hello, hello people, and welcome to the first tank review on my channel. Today we are looking at this beautiful behemoth, the Bomba. And of course I get a terrible map for it. But, oh well, let's see how we'll do. This thing was never actually called a bomber by the German forces, it was simply just an allied nickname for it. German troops only ever referred to it as the Stupa, which is really just an abbreviation of Sturmpanzer, which is what it is. It was built as an infantry support tank from 1943 and until the end of World War II, and came in four different iterations. The one we have in game is the first iteration with the driver's port from a Tiger 1 and all rubber rimmed road wheels. The pros of this vehicle is the fairly decent mobility, especially for something with as much armor as this does, as it does have hundred millimeters on the front hull. It also sits in a spot with a lot of really really good um, lineups for it. Lots of tanks at 4.0, 4.3 and 4.7 both in the standard tech tree and as premiums. Additionally for something with a 150mm gun, it does have a fairly short reload at just under 20 seconds. Although all this is somewhat made up for in a very low velocity gun with fairly ineffective high explosive shells due to the BR and vehicles you're fighting simply just having decent amounts of armor. Additionally, the sides and rear of the vehicle are extremely poorly armored and this even applies for the little angled hull cheeks on the front, so you don't really want to angle the vehicle to improve your armor unless you have some partial cover and don't have to expose your sides. And this right here is why you play this thing. Except that's a jumbo so it does nothing. Let's see if we can get a better shot lined up. I don't think we can before he's dead. But there's a guy sitting up there. And of course I shoot short. does only come with chemical rounds, so shooting through soft cover isn't a possibility. But nevertheless, it is fun to punk people, even if you don't kill them. Enemy forces have captured a zone. Oh, that's gonna never mind. He died before I could get the shot off. Generally, you do not want to try and play this at range. I'm gonna ready up some heat rounds because that is a freaking Churchill. 
<laughs> Bonk. Bright side, the Churchill doesn't have a particularly good gun, so I am fairly safe just sitting here. Downside, the Churchill does have a lot of armor, and, um, well, low velocity gun. Makes it hard to aim, even at a relatively short 300 meters. This battle does seem to pretty much be over already though. Oh, nope, that's that. So let's just keep on rolling. Hello, Mr. ARL. Oh, see something? He does see something. I missed by a mile! No! Oh well. Brilliant demonstration of how the armor is actually fairly decent, even though it is a rather mobile and small vehicle. shot on something here nope and I of course panicked that one is this gonna hurt no it is not because he did I don't even know where that hit Target dead. Although he did just get killed, and I think he got. Nope, from behind. As I said, terrible armor on the rear. Alrighty, second time around. Much better map this time. Much more close quarter stuff. Should work out a bit better. Let's see how it goes. Whoops. <laughs> I do like the sound of the gun, though. So, let's go to B. See what we can find there. If we ever get there, there is. Because, yeah, while it does have decent maneuverability, it does not have the best engine power. So it's it's not the best of friends with hills, but once you get going on relatively flat ground, you get going alright. like to see either the third iteration or the fourth iteration in game at some point. I 
Probably should possibly have loaded the AG right off the bat. That is a T-34. Shell got eaten by the KV subtics. Brilliant. Is he still there? Kinda hard to see. Yeah, he's still there. Aim a little bit higher this time. A little bit more to the right. There we go. Nope. Too far. Now I'm kinda stuck here. Range find to that building. Let's see how far we should actually be aiming. We should be aiming about there. Is that gonna go over? I don't know. Let's see. I don't know where that went. But we now have multiple T 34 shooting at us. That's gonna hit the sign. Yep. It's one T34 down. Gives me the opportunity to slip over this way. Reset the sight. Is that an enemy? Or is that a friendly? That's an enemy. Loading heat. looking we had an M10 looking right doesn't seem like anything is on the right doesn't seem like anything is on the left let's try and go and flank this guy oh Sounds like a P8 bomb. Kill assist. Oh, KV1. Come on, load, 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 load. Wasted his shot. Second one. Loading the height. I try and get to an angle where I can hide my side. Most of the strategic 
Ouch. Yeah, that hit the gun barrel, of course it did. Let's range find it to that. Oh crap. I'm good. I only have high explosive, but I'm good. It's one kill assist. Short is pushing up. I should not fire there, and I got flanked. So, ultimately, while the Broomberg is a very fun tank, it's not particularly effective or easy to use. It does, however, have one of the highest modifiers for lions at the BR area and one of the cheapest repair costs. So if you love big derp guns, it's a definite recommendation at the mere price of 2980 eagles, although maybe wait for a sale because half off or even 20% off, it's such a much such a better purchase. If you don't like these big derp tanks, then I'd recommend you spend your money on something else. That's it for today. Thanks for watching guys. Remember to subscribe and all the usual stuff. I will see you next time.